your weekly view of young leaders taking big steps. This is NextGen. Presented by PFI, home of Boo Daddy. Soon this bus will be full of incoming high school juniors, part of this year's Missouri Agribusiness Academy. These elite 30 have many things in common, but number one, their passion for agriculture. This year, Southwest Missouri welcomes them as they tour agribusinesses and hear from agriculture professionals. So the Missouri Agribusiness Academy, or MABA, uh, was started in 1988, and it's a program that is designed for high school students that are really interested in agriculture and really want to develop uh, their leadership skills. High school students all over the state of Missouri, how many are applying each year to be a part of this and, and, and over the decades? I think this year we had about 130, and of those 130 students, there are 30 that are selected. So it's certainly a competitive thing, mm -hmm. um, but you know, these students are, are really eager to learn more about agriculture. And these students represent all corners of our states. We have Northeast, Southeast, Central, um, Southwest, really all over, and we get a diverse group of students. So Avery, you're one of the Southwest Missouri students representing um, our district here during MABA this week. Take me through uh, yourself. Who are you and what do you do back home? Okay, well, um, I'm Avery Sherrick. I'm from El Dorado Springs, Missouri. And um, I've always kind of been involved in agriculture, my mom's parents' farm. And um, my mom's always made sure that I've been involved. But I didn't really get involved in agriculture mm -hmm. until I was about 9 or 10 years old when my grandma was cleaning out her closet and found a bunch of my mom's old show cattle equipment and said Avery should show cattle. Oh, so fun. So I showed a bottle calf and that's how I got into agriculture. And the rest is history. Yep. <laughs> so let's go back to this winter when you had the opportunity to originally apply for MABA. What led you to want to scope it out? So um, the year before that, a girl from Wablo, Kaylee Lauer, I show cattle with her and she was in my 4-H club. She went to MABA and she told me about just how awesome it was and all the places that she got to tour and I wanted to have that opportunity just to learn more about agriculture. Well, it sounds like peer-to-peer -peer recruitment is the name of the game when it comes yeah. to um, truly understanding the experience that you could be a part of. So, you know, you're wrapped up your week here in Southwest Missouri. What? has been the most profound? What has led you to uh, maybe an aha moment? Um, I personally, I've always loved horses, so mm -hmm. definitely the horse ranch Primitera, Primitera. And um, my grandma, she loves horses and she passed that on to me. Um, she's always like watched the horse races with us, the Kentucky Derby, Preakness, Belmont Stakes, mm -hmm. and she's always made sure that I've been around horses. So that was definitely my most favorite part. Love horses, just love it all. <laughs> so how can you, or what, how do you think that you can take what you've learned this week and apply it to uh, your passion in agriculture, but a potential career? Well, I've liked it because I've been able to go and like kind of scope out different areas mm -hmm. where I could find careers in. I've thought a lot about like food science too, so mm -hmm. touring dairy concepts was really cool. Um, but also just building the relationships with my peers mm -hmm. is awesome because I know that I'm going to use those relationships in the future. So this week is really an opportunity for them to learn more about agriculture in Missouri. You know, as we know, agriculture in our state is incredibly diverse and there are a lot of different opportunities and particularly depending on where you're at in the state. Mm -hmm. um, so the trip does rotate. One year it's in St. Louis, one year Kansas City, and this year we're in Southwest Missouri. Uh, so the students have had the opportunity to tour uh, Highland Dairy and uh, Joplin Regional Stockyards and they're going to Askinosi Chocolates this afternoon and we're at MSU today. So it really is a great opportunity to show them just how diverse our industry is. As a MABA alum, I also got to come home to Southwest Missouri and you'd think that, oh, I know everything that goes on, you know, in your home district. In reality, you don't. And you, you really think of how truly diverse our state is and how diverse our districts are. So let's talk about um, the goals. You know, you're spending a week with their peers and their touring agriculture, but overall, what do you want them to walk away, away with? You know, we really, again, want them to walk away with that understanding that Missouri is diverse agriculturally, but that there are also a lot of job opportunities out there. And everyone's interests are different, and there's really a job for everyone in agriculture. And we also want them to have the opportunity to engage with ag leaders uh, in, in this area. And they've heard from a lot of great ag leaders. Mm -hmm. um, they've gotten some great advice 
on what to do now. You know, what are what should be their next steps going forward and how can they develop into the leaders that they are seeking to be? Well, we talked about those tours, but beyond the tours that they get to take part in, there's a lot of speakers that they get to hear. They get to talk about personalities and how their personalities um, drive them and how they can use their strengths and weaknesses to work together. But also, I understand that uh, a little food etiquette and dining etiquette is all thrown in. It is, and you know, those are things that you don't, that, that one doesn't typically think about being important. But I remember the etiquette when I went through it. Okay, what's on this side? What's on this side? Where's your for, where's your drinks when you're sitting at a banquet? And, and you need to be professional. Absolutely. There's still times I'm like, oh, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do at this point. And so having those refreshers, and for some of these students, it's the first time they're seeing that or getting to experience that. And they'll be using that later in their life. And so it really is. It's great. There's a lot of extra things packed into this trip that really helps make them well-rounded. So is this when I should tell that your current class that I actually met my husband in MABA and there's no pressure that they could have already met their, their future spouse? <laughs> Absolutely, you never know who you're going to meet on MAVA, <laughs> and that's for sure. Well, let's talk about um, who can be a part of MAVA. You know, it's not just for students that are involved in 4-H or FFA or live in rural areas. It's for any Missouri um, student that's interested in agriculture, whether they live in, in the urban area or not. So take us through how they can apply and be a part of this come 2020. Absolutely. The, so the application lives on our website, agriculture.mo.gov and folks can go to the website, there's an application, they fill out the application, and then we have judges that review those, and if they're selected um, to move on to the interview portion, then they'll go through the interview process, and then that's where we pull those uh, 30 students.